The Nephilim. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. People are dying down there. I will not abandon them. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. I will meet Tyriel in West March. Go! It will be done. I swear it. Hello there, eagle-eyed viewers, or viewer, if you're on your own watching this, or if you're with other people. Welcome! Oh, hello there. Um, Diablo 3! Well, it's coming to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, with its Reaper of Souls add-on. We're currently looking at it running on the PlayStation 4, and if you've played on the 360 and PS3, you'll know exactly what to sort of expect here from the experience. Let's just kind of run down what this package has as opposed to Diablo 3 that just came out on the consoles. Obviously this has the expansion of Reaper of Souls in it and my word it looks nice and pretty on a PS4 and Xbox One. So it is a perfect opportunity to get involved in the Diablo world on your sofa with your new next gen console. Now why would you want to do that other than the fact that Diablo 3 is amazing. Diablo is obviously awesome. Well you've got your new class to choose from. You've got all the new um, loot 2.0 stuff that is in uh, this game. Uh, as not in the uh, Diablo 3 that came out on the consoles, although there will be a digital add-on available for you guys who have purchased Diablo 3, you'll be able to pay a, a small fee and get the upgraded version of the game with all the new good stuff in there. Right now, we've basically got hands-on with um, with a nice segment of the, uh, the Reaper of Souls campaign and some OP'd characters. Now, obviously, we destroy quite a lot of stuff here, so it looks pretty on camera i mean i'm doing eighty thousand damage i don't even think i've never even got to any diablo character doing that sort of much of damage ever in my life uh this is the demo that they played at e3 i think they've uh, freshened it up a little bit also as we'll show you uh in a clip later uh we drop in a third player using a playstation vita now i don't sadly have any uh, camera footage of it as i didn't even expect this to be a thing but um, the third player that comes in later on in a video uh, is playing on a Vita. So what are we kind of looking at here? Well, you're going to remember that the uh, there's the Nephilim Rifts, which are a really cool addition to Diablo 3. And essentially what these things are is that you can uh, open a Rift. Uh, once you've create, uh, finished the main story, you'll be able to go back into Adventure Mode and go into these sort of arenas that are mixed you know completely random in the fact that they they could be you know in this sort of setting could be in a desert and the the enemies could be unicorns or you know any sort of demon from the game anything completely random and it also means that you're going to get some really nice loot um from these sort of events in the game uh, and also with the loot 2.0 stuff the loot will be more catered to you as opposed to just a random piece of rare loot that you pick up and go oh god I don't have one of these characters that's that's an absolute waste to me but the thing I really like about the console version I really like this low camera and I also like the right stick being roll it's one thing that really makes the console version special I think I really like the roll technique and also it means it means it feels a bit more uh, action-packed for the console user so right now I'm gonna just show you off a, a bit of shiny gameplay from the PS4 version and then we're gonna drop into a third player with a Vita my personal card is the best that money can buy they will save us The Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malphia. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the High Heavens. Owing to Malphia's growing fascination with the humans, 
Materio has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. My wrath is low. This can't be happening! We're all gonna die here! Patience. They're coming for our souls! No! But my force will become stronger. The Nephilim. Thanks to the power of the PlayStation 4, player 3 here is playing on his or her PlayStation Vita. Um, so, perfect if you're on the toilet and you need to uh, level up because you're going to be on the toilet for about half an hour. Or someone's using the TV. Or you don't have a third controller but you do have a, a PS Vita because you've got your uh, priorities the wrong way around. So what we're essentially seeing here is player 3 using the Vita as a controller. You could also stare at the Vita screen if you would like to have your own uh, TV, your own personal screen, and just look down um, and, in, and enjoy that. So yeah, this is a really nice addition, I think, to the PS4 version of the game because Diablo is one of those games that, you know, someone might be using your TV, someone might be watching, like, Songs of Praise because people do that still, apparently. Um, and you still want to, might be hunting demons in the, your Sunday evening. So using the PS4 remote play, you can play uh, Diablo 3 on the go, anywhere in your house. You could, well, doesn't have to be the toilet. I'm not recommending just the toilet. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you with a bit more gameplay now of us three taking on the world. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We love that stuff. Nobles. What's the meaning of Reverend, what? Patience. Lord Winton, we are thrilled that you have located a surviving regiment of soldiers. With this new force, we can turn the tide and save our city. Your disagreements with the Crown are well known, but we are glad you can put them aside in this dangerous time. Long live Westmarch! Ooh.